Minnesota Brain Injury Alliance is hoping that you're going to lace up your sneakers and join them this weekend for the Walk for Thought. The event raises awareness and needed funds to help Minnesotans navigate life after brain injury. And today we're delighted to welcome David King, CEO of the Brain Injury Alliance, to talk about this special event. Uh, great to have you back here. Thanks. Man. Uh, brain injury is a growing uh, uh, situation uh, and the, the types of injuries have changed a bit. Why don't you tell us about that, if you would, David? You know, for, for years sort of car crashes were the the leading cause of brain injury but with uh, increased safety standards and an aging population now falls is really the leading cause of brain injury in this country and we we really see it break out at both ends of the life spectrum so from birth to four and then from 65 and older is where we really see the spikes in falls related brain injuries and then of course you've survived this which we hope for you have to navigate life following that injury that's where the brain injury alliance comes in what kinds of things does uh, the organization support and why are these funds so necessary so one of the challenges i think that that survivors face is that it's an invisible injury you know so a lot of the the consequences of brain injury that can either be sort of cognitive, emotional, or physical, they're all invisible. So it can be, you know, poor memory, trouble concentrating, depression, anxiety, uh, balance and, and dizzy issues, sensitive to light and noise, things like that, but all things that you really can't see. And so one of the challenges is that folks, because they look the same as they did before their accident, they're expected to act the same as mm -hmm. before their accident. And it's a real challenge. And so we're there to help them connect to the best possible supports and services and resources as close to home as possible. We're out there doing a lot of legislative work to make sure that uh, folks have what they need when they need it. How many people have you been able to help? We, we help about 20,000 individuals a year that's through a, a variety of our services. That's a large number. Talk about the Walk for Thought and where it takes place this weekend. So locally, so it's Saturday the 21st. Exactly. Yep. yep. And locally it'll be in uh, New Brighton at Long Lake Park. We'll also be at uh, Leif Erickson Park in Duluth and then uh, Center Care Plaza in St. Cloud. And registration is at 9 o'clock and then we have a short program at 945 and the walk starts exactly at 10. And it's wonderful and you can see uh, the information on the screen right now in those uh, three different locations and uh, around the state for folks to, uh, to support. You have all manner, all ages uh, come out to, to do the walk, don't you? Yeah. Because there are, you know, we also, um, Strokes are also a form of brain injury. So we mm -hmm. have kids that have had strokes in utero. Mm -hmm. So we have very young children all the way up to the elderly. It is the entire lifespan. And it's nice, so nice for families and the individuals affected to interact and be there for this it's thing. It's a great too. chance to come out and celebrate where they are in their journey. We're going to keep our fingers crossed. Good weather throughout the state. Thanks Thank for you. being with us, David. Thanks great for to have you here. Uh,